as far as the rhythm section of a song consisting of drums and bass uh, since the beginning of time. That's the basic foundation of a song. When it comes down to having the right impact with your drums, um, there is a way that they'll make you feel. And pulling up torque, I love it. I've been using it every day since I got it. Um, and there's so much you can do with it. Torque is definitely giving me some insight on what I can do with drums, and it now gives me such an open playing field because drums can just be drums, you know, and now it's not, you know, so it's, 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 it's really cool. It's giving me a new coloring pad, you know. With something as simple as just this 808 snare that I'm using, um, I'm going minus 1,200 cents on um, this frequency here. I'm speeding it up to 50, going right above zero threshold on the trim. I'm going minus 70 on the threshold just to change the sound of the snare to this. Same snare, but it's giving it just a little bit more body. So now, if I want to, I can do, I can attack this a whole different way just because I changed the sound of a snare. Something else that's, that's really cool, if you turn around and, and you want a little bit more crack on it, going into waves with smack attack, if you want to turn around and start to get to the point where you want the snare to hit a little bit harder and you want to control it a little, a little bit better, When you turn around and you look at the fact that Waves has given you torque, they gave you smack attack, these are things that now you can dial in and make the snare that you want out of any snare. One snare can become hundreds of snares. So I pulled up a different session now um, just to show some of the uh, qualities that I love about using torque. It, it can really just change everything. It can change the whole vibe of a track if you start to dial in and just find what it can do. So. But just taking all my drums and busting them, opening torque, detuning them, I can go into frequency and actually giving them a tone. And there's one thing I love about this is the filter. I love this focus filter. And then even so, when you dial into these drums and you want them to change, you might want to just find out where the sweet spot is. I like to go full threshold because I don't want to hear what I already have. I want it to be different. I want to hear just the uh, effect itself. Just hearing the drums. Depends on what you're trying to go for. But you have the full prism. And I love on this torque trim here, if I choose to, I can make it to where it's, it's very aggressive, or I can make it a little bit more subtle. Uh, dialing back, minus 2.6 dB, I believe it is. It's, it's not bad, it's, it's, you're still gonna get the same feel, you might not get as much tone. Um, and also you can change the speed here. It depends on what you're really trying to go for. Um, I don't really go for tonal, uh, the tonal aspects of torque to match the tones of my song. I go for feel. I'm a warlord, killing warlocks with the Lord in his corner. Another thing for me, this is one of my secret weapons. To get the proper crack and attack in drums, I use Arvox. Um, the gate is just phenomenal. It's so forgiving. Um, I can put it on the dirtiest of kicks. Um, I'll even show an example now. You can hear the release of the kick. You can hear how big the kick is, but then I like the attack of the kick, so 
pulling up my R box, I'll go and I'll bring the gate all the way to zero. Now in some instances, when you go to zero, you'll hear a clip, not in waves, not in R box. It makes it nice and tight. You get the punch, you still get the action. Same thing with my snare. I want it to be tight. I want to get a, the crack of the snare. I want to get all the dirt off the end of the snare. I just run it through our box. And something like, okay, my hat. If I don't want my hat just to come straight down the middle, pull up our channel. I can rotate it to any side I want. Just to give it a more human feel. Because on a kit, you're never gonna have your hat, your snare, and your kick just coming straight down the middle. You're not gonna have your toms and all that stuff just coming straight down the middle. They give it a dynamic, and it, and it just helps you uh, make it an experience for the listener, you know? So uh, something just as simple as just finding the proper panning for this thing. I like it right there, so. Sons and daughters, proper decorum, and decor those that ignore them. I'm a warlord, killing warlocks with the Lord in his corner, and angels before him. They do shows to get homes, I heal souls, and console woes when performing. And another thing I like to use a lot on my pads is a doubler. Doubler is such an amazing tool um, when you want something to have a very big, but a stereo sound, I'll use extreme left and right and kill the middle just so I can get Getting a good shot make me wanna go back to the gift shop where my gift got got and then give it back for a wristwatch and a pack of the pop rocks and a two pockets. I think that when you start to get into sound manipulation, that's when you start to find your identification, that's when you find your imprint. And Waves gives you all the tools to be able to make that imprint, make that definitive sound for yourself. And I just appreciate being able to talk about it, you know? Getting a good shot make me wanna go back to the gift shop where my gift got got and then give it back for a wristwatch and a pack of the pop rocks and a two pop.